It's actually, one on, yeah, correct. Okay, and it's gotcha. actually two. One on top and one on bottom. Okay. So, <laughs> the geothermal system works. Uh, well, I know you've got, you have loops, groundwater. What's a geothermal system? So let's, again, take a step back. The well, let's way... not again. Maybe they've never seen this video. Okay, so how does a geothermal system work? Let's talk about heat pumps for a second because the theory is the same on both of them. What most people have installed in their house is what's called an air source heat pump. And all that is, is an air conditioner that can run backwards in the wintertime. So in the summertime, when we run our AC system, we're taking heat from inside the house and we're dumping it outside. The way a heat pump works is in the wintertime, we reverse that refrigeration cycle and we take whatever heat we can find outside and dump it inside our house, thus heating our house. The problem with an air source heat pump is that as it gets colder outside, there's less and less heat value to scavenge from the air and the whole system becomes less and less efficient. That's why once it starts to drop below freezing outside, your air source heat pump, it just gets colder and colder inside the house and a lot of people eventually resort to turning on the auxiliary or the emergency heat. That's an air source heat pump. A geothermal heat pump functions exactly the same way, except we replace that outside air basically with water. So if we pull water out of the ground or we run water through the ground in a big loop of plastic pipe, the temperature about four feet down here is relatively constant. So that gives us a temperature differential to either dump heat to in the summertime or pull heat from in the wintertime. The big advantage is that water source or that ground source is a constant temperature year round. The other big advantage to doing that instead of an outside air to air unit is that we take that outside condenser, the actual heat pump, and in this unit, it's actually all crammed into the bottom of this geothermal heat pump. We don't have to have a big fan to move air past an outside condenser coil. We can put it all inside here because the water is much more effective at carrying heat to or from the system. The whole thing can be smaller and we replace that entire outside condenser or heat pump unit. Well, it's all here. It's just all in the bottom of this and it's all hidden because we don't have to have any big noisy fans or anything else. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.